YouTube channel it is Nikki here so today the sun has inspired me this is my summer glow up makeup tutorial for the summer I hope you guys really like this look I love it it's pretty simple again it's warm tones sun-kissed summer bronze but it's something that I'm going to wear on a daily basis I love all the colors and it's perfect for summer so if you guys want to see how I achieved this look then just keep on watching okay so let's get started I've literally just clipped my hair up it was getting on my nerves I want to do like a summer glow up kind of a makeup look which is gonna probably consist of not that many products because I still want the skin to be very lightweight I want it to be glowy bronzy all that jam you know the stuff that I like love like them warm tones I'm sorry but if you don't want to see that then opt out right now because that's what this tutorial is all gonna be about Okay, let's just put some Vaseline on our lips. I'm so dry, like my skin. I don't know how to, oh, well, I do now. I need to drink more water, don't I really? Okay, so let's start off. We're gonna go in with the Glam Glow, a Glow Starter Mega Illuminating Moisturizer in Sun Glow. I'm gonna pop this all over the face. It's gonna give me a little bit of radiance, but it's also gonna moisturize, which I need a lot of. My skin feels really, really tight, and I want this to be a super shiny, dewy, wet, glowy look. So I'm gonna start off with this bad boy. This stuff oh, it just smells so yummy. Like, I want to eat it. It smells so good. Now, for primer, I'm going to be using a little bit of the Revolution Pro Featherweight Primer. If I'm honest with you guys, I don't really use a primer that much anymore. I kind of just do lotion, oils, then put my foundation straight on. But just for the purpose of the video, it is good to use a primer. So, I'm going to use a little bit of this, but I'm just going to use it down my T zone and then spread it outwards to the outer edges of my face. Okay, so if I'm honest, this one kind of leaves like, I don't want to say a white cast, but it makes my skin look a little bit lighter because it's, I want to say that it's more of a silicone based one. It feels like very silicone-y, which is really good. If you have like porous skin, it will fill that in. But I don't, um, I don't really like silicone primers. This one doesn't feel too too bad but i know it's going to smooth my skin out okay so for primer i'm going to be actually going in with the nars shea glow foundation in the shade syracuse i've not picked this up for a really long time i know that i absolutely love this foundation i love the shade of it on my skin as well so i'm going to shake this bad boy up and then apply it with my masked beauty blender that i actually got through the post right now so let's just see how that works i want to blend it onto my face down my neck and chest area just to make sure that everything kind of blends and runs seamlessly don't you hate it when you have lids like this like they know the studio fix bottle has a lid like this you kind of just want a pump because i'm forever okay once my foundation's on let's quickly put our concealer on because i feel a little bit crazy everything's looking a little bit gray for concealer i'm going to be using the urban decay all nighter concealer in the shade medium dark warm i love this concealer it's a little bit thick so for you guys that don't like a thick concealer don't go for this one um it does tend to crease a little bit underneath the eyes but I really like it because I like the colour of it and I love the coverage of it. So I'm going to add a little bit of this around my mouth area and also just underneath my eyes to kind of hide and disguise the pigmentation. Now that we've concealed, let's go in with a little bit of highlight. I'm going to be using the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define. This is the newest shade range that they've come out with. I'm going to be using C8.5 because I don't want it to be too crazy of a highlight. I don't, want it to be, I don't want it to be too light. I'm going to pop this in the usual points that we highlight, which would be underneath our eyes, down the centre of our face as well. And then I'm I'm just gonna quickly blend that bad boy out now i'm looking a little bit crazy everything looks a bit too ghost like so i need to bronze up now a summer glow to me if i'm honest with you is like bronzy skin really glowy everything's kind of like glittery dewy bronzy so for that i'm going to be using the iconic london pigment stick in a 5.1 love the shade of this so much i use it every single day now since i've got it i use it every day it's just so beautiful such a nice tone it's really going to bronze up the skin so i'm actually just going to be using my mac stippling brush just to do this going into the product and then just applying it on the skin on the cheekbones the temple areas and then just a little bit down the center of my face as well for brows i'm just going to be using a max spiked eyebrow pencil and i'm just going to be 
filling in my brows nothing too crazy but just to fill in all of the gaps give them a little bit of length give them some dimension and then I'm just gonna be adding a little bit of benefits give me brow in number five just to add a little bit of texture okay so I thought I'd zoom you guys in let's carve out the brows for this I'm gonna be using the iconic London's pigment stick again but this is in the shade that's the wrong one this is in the shade number three icon three it's kind of got that yellow undertone to it that I really really like and it's lightweight so we're just gonna carve out the underneath of the brow and we might as well just prime the lid with this bad boy as well then you just want to quickly take some translucent powder it doesn't matter what powder it could be colored powder as well just to set that in place okay so now it's time for the fun stuff I'm gonna go into my I love makeup 24 karat gold eyeshadow palette I love this palette it's got all the colors that you would just absolutely love I'm gonna take this chocolatey color this is gonna be like a warm kind of eyeshadow tutorial so it's nothing new to a lot of my other ones but you guys wanted a summer glow up so here it is I'm gonna take this chocolatey color just on a fluffy brush and then apply this bad boy in to my crease if you can notice I'm not being particularly clean with this I'm being quite messy I've taken it high up that's just because I don't want it to be like a clean kind of cut. We're not doing any wing liner. We just want everything to be really, really soft. I'm then I'm going to take this shade on my lower lash line as well and really smoke this out. Okay, so once you have like the halo of smoke around your eyes, I'm going to be taking the MAC Gold Deposit. This is actually a highlighter, but it's going to make a really nice metallic pigment. What I'm going to do is you want to just take any kind of like fixing spray, any liquid spray. It could be Fix Plus, this is just the iconic one. And I'm going to spray this into the Gold Deposit, and it's going to create this really nice metallic finish. Okay, so once I have like the metallic pigment on my brush, I'm just going to add it to the lids of both of my eyelids and buff that out, just so there are no harsh lines. Okay, once you've added the pigment to your lids, I want to add a little bit of dew and glow in my inner corners. I love that look. So I'm going to be taking the Revolution Pro. This is the Supreme Eyeshadow Palette in Captivate. And I'm going to be taking this kind of goldish color. These are so heavily pigmented. It is crazy. I'm going to take this kind of goldish color and pop that into my inner corners. Let me just add a little bit to my brow bones as well. I feel like this inner corner highlight is like a game changer. Like it just changes the game. Your eyes look so different with it on. Okay, so now because I do want to add lashes, I do find it difficult to add lashes to like no band or liner. I'm not going to do liner, but I'm going to take a little bit of this black shadow, just press it as close as I can to my top lash line, just to add a little bit of a band so it disguises our lash band. Now for lashes, I'm just going to be using the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara as per usual, just to coat my natural lashes before I add the fake ones. So my lashes of choice are actually these cashmere lashes. They don't have a style name, which is really unfortunate, but I do know that they're 100% mink. I've been using them a lot. They were gifted to me, and they're absolutely stunning. So I'm just going to quickly chuck these bad boys on. Okay, so once my lashes are on, I'm just going to add a little bit of mascara on my bottom lashes. Okay, something that I do want to do that has been a game changer for me is if you take your black pencil and you tight line which means tight lining means lining the this doesn't even look pretty but lining like the underside in pictures you can really see if you've tight lined or not and it doesn't make the world of difference okay so now it's time for highlighter i'm actually going to be using max a shaft of gold extra dimension highlighter this was in a limited edition but it's quite similar to old darling if i'm honest with you and they still do that this one's just a little bit more gold so i'm just going to add this to the tops of my cheekbones and only for there because it's a bit too gold to go down at the center of my face now for the center of my face i'm going to go back into that revolution pro eyeshadow palette and take that beautiful gold shade and just take that highlight down the center of my face let's just add a little bit to the tops of the cheekbones as well Now to go in with a touch more bronzer, I'm going to go in with my favourite bronzer of all time, I'm nearly finished. This is the MAC Give Me Sun Mineralize Skin Finish, it's a beautiful warm tone. So I'm going to add this just to the cheeks and just to kind of bronze up furthermore to give me that sun kissed look. For lips, I'm just going to quickly land my lips with Barry M's Lip Liner in the shade Go To. I think this came as part of a lip kit but I really like the lip liner, so I'm just gonna line the whole of my lip. For lipstick colour, let's go in with a little bit of Max Taupe. And then let's just lighten that up with a little bit of a buff from Makeup Revolution. Now you want to just finish off with kind of like a glowy, dewy finishing spray. And I'm going to be using the iconic London Prep Set and Glow. This is absolutely stunning. This one is actually in the shade 
the original shade. The other one is a little bit darker, which I'll be using on my chest area. So I'm just going to spray this all over my face. Now I'm just going to spritz the Iconic London Prep Setting Glow in, this is the Water Mist in Glow, it's the darker one, oh my gosh, it's absolutely stunning. I'm going to I'm gonna just spray this all over my chest area because it's going to give me that kind of sun-kissed, more of a tan look. Okay guys, so that is it for this summer glow up makeup tutorial, the sun is out, the sun is beaming, I'm so excited. I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial, give it a thumbs up, if you did, leave me all your requests, requests down below, also you can stalk me on my social handles, which I'm going to leave down below if you want to keep up to date with me on a daily basis. And yeah, I love it. I think it's really nice, really kind of fresh. Let me know. I love you guys so very much, and I will see you in my next video. Mwah. Mm -hmm.